Hi fire signs, welcome back to the channel and if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's really great to have you here. My name is Aura. I hope you are doing really well today fire signs. So this is a reading for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node or wherever you have strong placements in your chart, this reading could resonate. Fire signs, remember that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and lovingly leave the rest for your personal situation. This can be different for everyone. I have set the intention though that there will be a message for everyone who clicks on this reading today, but don't forget to check out your other placement readings as well for more messages if this does not resonate for you, okay? So this reading today, Fire Signs, is all about your love connection. So we will be diving deep to find out what's going on with this connection right now, with your connection. We will be finding out what's being hidden. We will also be bringing through their thoughts and their feelings towards you and this connection so far. That didn't work out whatsoever. <laughs> so please give this reading a like and also subscribe if you haven't already, Fire Signs. This really helps out the channel like you wouldn't believe and I really truly appreciate your support if you choose to subscribe and to join us here. Um, thank you for blessing me with your wonderful energy today, Fire Signs. Thank you for tuning in. So let's get started with your reading all about this connection. What is going on with this connection for the Fire Signs, please? What is going on in this connection? Let's find out. Oh, lovely. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. That card also came out for the air signs. We have all the two of pentacles. That's so lovely. What else is going on with this connection? We have the nine of pentacles. And we have the six of cups. Yeah, that makes sense. I was really getting some sort of like... Um, past energy coming up here, um, but we will get into that in a moment. Um, but just so you're aware, fire signs, I don't, I, I like to read these cards um, through the imagery, um, not, not just the traditional meanings of the tarot cards, because these pictures really do paint a thousand words to me. Um, so I will be picking up on a lot of the imagery as well, and the um, the energy that I receive from them and uh, what it says with my intuition, okay? So we also have the Queen of Cups there. Okay, please clarify. Actually, we'll, we'll get into this first because I'm already getting some messages here. Um, so I can see with this connection, Fire Signs, this is a really loving connection here um, to start off with because we do have um, these two people here, you know, really getting on, having fun, being playful together. Um, and it's like, we have this youthfulness and this playful energy and just this kind of like purity towards this connection, this innocence almost. And for some of you, this is only going to resonate for a select couple of you, okay? So um, this won't resonate for everyone. But for some of you, this is like a childhood sweetheart kind of connection, okay? So it's like you grew up together and... I almost kind of want to position it like that. It's almost like a before and an after picture. Like you two as children, like growing up together, playing, and now you're in your adult your adult era and um, stage in life, and you're, you're still playing and having fun together. Um, and that's the vibes that it's giving me, but also it's like past life energy as well. Um, and especially with the Six of Cups here. Um, now, this almost feels like, this is really Six of Cups energy to me. Um, as you can see, the picture on this Six of Cups is very different. Um, but I am getting that sort of energy. Like I do read from these cards with energies more so than the traditional meanings. Um, but I'm getting like, yeah, like this solid, and with the goat here as well, it's like, it's like a solid connection here. It's like, um, and, and, and a, an emotional connection here with these two people that are walking through the water. And an earth, I really get an earthy energy here, which makes sense because it's the two of pentacles. Um, 
through. It's like this solid grounding connection that you have with each other that's very emotional. There's a lot of playfulness to it. I feel like there's a lot of love here. And this Nine of Pentacles is traditionally a, like a, a card of the self. So someone who's very self-sufficient, but we can see a couple here. And it's almost like they're walking into the spotlight, okay? So it's almost like something is, is being illuminated about this connection. Maybe something has been revealed about this connection recently. Um, because this is in your the center of your spread. So it's like your present energy. Um, something is being revealed or something is going to, be, going to be revealed really shortly. And also with them walking towards a spotlight, it's almost like all eyes on you type thing. I feel like there might be a lot of eyes on you and your connection for some reason. And this makes sense here with the Six of Cups. We can see there's three people there, but then there's three people in the background observing and watching. And these people have masks on. So two of them have masks and one of them has the mask up. Um, and it's like they're celebrating something. They've had a few drinks and they're being observed. So it's like, it's almost like some sort of like celebration. Maybe you've been to some sort of gathering recently and it's been all eyes on you. Maybe you have both held some sort of um, anniversary um, party or something like that. that. That's for a select couple of you. That won't resonate for everyone. But there's this energy here, this Queen of Cups. Maybe you're being observed by this Queen of Cups here because she does have that little kind of mask thing that she's holding. So it's like taking it on and off kind of thing. But it only covers the eyes. So that says to me the, wa the watching, someone's watching. Interesting, let's get some clarifiers. Let me get some clarifier for the eight, eight of pentacles. It's too many. Eight of pentacles, please. Thank you. Okay, we have the ace of cups. So there's a new start here. A rekindling I'm hearing. This could be a new connection, but also Again, I'm getting this past life thing. It's like you've been here before and it's now happening again. You could have had past life relationships with each other. That's really interesting. Mm, two of pentacles, thank you. Wow, okay. We have um, the judgment card there. Yeah, interesting. This can talk of renewal and awakening. Again, it's like a rekindling, a transition. Making, letting go of the old and making way for the new. Yeah, this is so like, wow, this is really deep, fire signs. Nine of pentacles, please. Nine of pentacles, please. Oh, that fell on the floor one moment. We've got the Seven of Wands. Now this card to me, um, through the pictures and, and the energy, it's it's a strong travel energy for me. So it's almost like, it's almost like you've been separated and now you've like come back together. Wow, this energy is like, it's almost like you're walking back into the spotlight, like you're coming back together. That's so interesting. We do have the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck, which does traditionally talk about potential travel. And it's, yeah, but it's like coming back together. This energy is so intense. Six of Cups, please. Look at that. The Nine of Swords. But just look there. There's just this, mm, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm being drawn here to this this masculine there. He's like really kind of like his all of his focus is on the feminine there. 
but you can see her reflection in the mirror. It's almost like she's looking at herself in the mirror or looking at them through a mirror. And then there's a person there in the background watching. Could this be the Queen of Cups? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Feminine energy. Interesting. And again, that's under the Six of Cups and I was getting the energy of being watched. And it's like, this person is like holding up that fan there, but like peeking over the top of the fan. Hmm. So it's like, I mean, this could even be your energy. Like, have you been watching this person? Or has this person been watching you? Wanting to come together? Feeling this... Um, connection somehow but not understanding why queen of cups please okay that's the star card wow oh my gosh and if you see here there's a shadow of two people on the holding hands this is beautiful fire signs it's almost like I know this sounds really dramatic and I'm not just saying this, but I'm getting this energy of like, what was meant to be will always be. That's what I'm being told. What was meant to, what is meant to be will always be. It's almost like written in the stars. That's what I'm hearing. It's almost like a soul contract energy coming through here strongly. Wow, this is incredible. We have on the bottom of the deck, the Knight of Pentacles. So it's like, this is a solid, a solid connection here, but it might be a slow connection. It might be a slow burner. But if you see here, this, this Knight, this person is like pouring coins into this, almost like a well here that this, that this horse is drinking from. So it's like, putting intention of of one like this this energy of wanting something um, wanting to give to something and putting it into this water which suggests to me emotions so although this is a knight of pentacles it's almost like they're giving to this water this emotional energy this emotional connection so they're wanting to plant seeds and 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 something tangible within the emotional. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And it's like, with that green that he's wearing, it's reminding me of the heart chakra. So it's like this emotional connection, even though it's pentacles, because it's like emotional, but it's like stable and tangible at the same time. Wanting to build something. Wanting to, a solid foundation. We have underneath, we have the Five of Cups. But this suggests to me, like, I mean, what's going on here? It's a bit of, it's a bit tumultuous, doesn't it? The Five of Cups obviously is a card of like disappointment. Um, regret, some, some sort of failure, regret of something, disappointment. Um, and again, there's someone there in the background like, it's almost like throwing these flowers up into the air. And I'm being drawn to the blue in the card as well. It's like the throat chakra now. It's drawing me to the throat chakra, which is obviously verbalizing something, speaking something. Maybe some harsh words were spoken recently. Um, or maybe there's a blockage here with not being able to communicate thoughts and feelings. We have here the Eight of Cups, which can traditionally be a card of walking away. But again, the energy feels different for me. It's like they're out in the cold here, it's snowing. Hmm. Really interesting. It's like... 
like they're wanting to come in with something tangible but someone's not saying something here there's some sort of muteness i'm hearing a mute and i never normally use that word okay so let's see what's being hidden here within this connection fire signs let's find this out for you what is being hidden in this connection for the fire signs what do they need to know what is being hidden thank you oh okay We've got the fox here. Now this can talk about someone being cunning. Hmm. Someone being a bit sneaky here. Sly. It's like seven of swords type energy. Is there someone like that doesn't want this connection to happen? Maybe someone has their eye on either you or this other person and they don't want you to come together. Like jealousy. Some sort of jealousy. You've got the ring here. So what you're not seeing is the ring. There's definitely... Um, I mean, the ring talks of um, commitment here. Contracts. Yeah, didn't I say soul contract? It's like you've you've got the, some sort of soul contract with each other, and it's like to fulfill this um, to fulfill something. The locket, which is also the heart. So there's love here in the center of your spread. In the center, there's love. And if you see here in the center of the spread, it's the two together, the two of you together. But again, there's someone in the background here. There's someone in the background here, here, here. Three people there. And there's that Queen of One, the Queen of Cups energy overlooking this here. Hmm. But this is a strong love connection here. And it's like, yeah, the rider. So it's like someone's wanting to come in. Someone's wanting to come in here. We've got a person on a horse, right? We've got like a knight sort of energy coming in here. And it makes me think, it's like the two of you want to come together. Now, take it how it resonates for you i feel like for some of you you're already in this connection for others of you it's just starting or there's a potential there you've seen each other you've noticed each other for others of you it's established connection it's an established relationship but there's something here if you're not yet in a in a an official relationship shall we say um, you're wanting to come together and they're wanting to bring you an offer and if you are already in a relationship there's someone else that's wanting to come through here so you need to be mindful of this some sort of jealous envious energy around you in this connection we have here the child again past life child childhood we've got two children here this past life energy this childhood energy coming through. For some of you, there's a, there's a literal child involved in this as well. The other person could have a child from a previous relationship, or this could be yourself. But it's like, I'm seeing here with the butterflies in this card and this child is like catching the butterflies in the net. It's like there's some sort of transformation here, some sort of rebirth. Evolving, I'm hearing. So what you're not seeing is this connection. Um, there's deep, there's deep love here. There's a deep connection. There's an offer that's wanting to come through. There might be some energies that are watching, observing, wanting to interfere somehow, jealousy, envy. Because it's, it's, it's such a strong connection here that you have, like a past life connection, or you've known each other for a long time here with the child card. 
We have here the Stork card, which can talk of a period of stagnation, but then moves into sudden movement. And that makes sense because we do have the Knight of Pentacles, which I said can talk about slow movement, slow and steady movement. But I'm also being drawn to the, the Q and the Heart, the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Cups. That's there. So it's almost like some this Queen of Cups energy, um, it's more of a feminine energy, so it doesn't have to be female, but it can be. Um, almost like making steady movement towards this somehow. But there's the bouquet there. Now this card talks about a gift, giving a gift, bringing a gift of some sort. We have underneath that, we have the whip. So that can talk about conflicts. It can talk about conflicts, but it's like, it's reminded me of this kind of feminine energy, maybe wanting to cause a conflict between the two of you somehow or get involved in this connection. But there's a message coming through here. I expect a message, fire signs. Okay, so let's move on and find out their feelings towards you and this connection. What are their feelings towards the fire signs and this connection, please? What are their feelings, their thoughts and their feelings towards this connection with the fire signs? What are their person's feelings? So we've got the runner there. The runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay, so this, this person might have some sort of fear here on coming in and making this offer, making an offer of commitment. It's like they might want it deep down, but maybe they've had bad experiences in the past and have been in a codependent relationship potentially previously to you. And that might, this might be what this Queen of Cups energy is, this interference, it could be an ex. And it's like, it's like they don't want that to interfere. We have here karmic relationship, fleeting, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah, it's like I said with this past life connection, there's, there's something here with a contract. There's, it's a, some sort of karmic thing here. Some sort of karmic thing. And then we've got clock. Need time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal and progress. So I feel like progress is quite slow with this. Again, makes sense with this Knight of Cups energy and the stalk that we see here. It's like it's taking time. But I feel like this person is dealing with some sort of karmic relationship that might be getting in the way or taking their attention that they have to deal with. This could be, maybe they have a child with someone. We then have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Yeah, exactly this stalking. There's something being watched, this connection being watched. And yeah, I strongly feel like this could be an ex. Not wanting to let this person go. We have on the bottom of the deck, soulmates. Soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. What did I say exactly? Um, that's strongly what I was feeling with that. We do then have, I like you. Someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting, want to date. Yeah, so there's definitely a connection here. Um, underneath we have the axe, break up, separation, stop the pattern silent treatment and abandonment it's like this person needs to cut something out i feel like they might have <clears throat> something that's tying them down a bit from their past and this could come from a person um an outside energy here this other person i mean this queen of cups it doesn't have to be a water sign by the way it can be someone who embodies that type of energy there okay so let's get some messages from this per their person, the fire signs person, please. What do they want to say to them? What do they want to say to them? Thank you. 
sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred yeah there's definitely a special bond here that you have and it's like i feel like this connection is going to take some time but i feel like there's definite potential here what? Oh, okay <laughs> all right then let's go with it a message for you what did i say there's going to be a message i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you oh so we've gone from i like you to i love you and it's like i feel like <clears throat> you probably haven't said the l word yet you probably haven't said i love you yeah or they haven't or it it took them a while to say it they struggled to say it and i feel like they feel this strong connection with you, but I feel like there's something might be holding them back um, from the past. I feel like a past energy. Um, and that doesn't mean that they're not interested in you whatsoever. Quite the con contrary, actually. They really are. We've got passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Yeah, so just kind of enjoy the moment. They want to just have fun and enjoy this moment and take their time. I don't feel like they're someone that really wants to rush ahead with this. We have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So I feel like um, they're making a decision about something right now. I feel like they might feel like they've got some obligation to something in the past um, or something that that's still in their present that they're they're not 100 happy with this could be another person could you know they might have an obligation with a child perhaps you know they're really having to you know come to some sort of compromise co-parent i'm hearing something like that or it could even be a pet you know um they could have a, a connection with a pet with their ex something like that um <clears throat> but they want to be true to this connection um okay Let's get a final message to finish up your reading. Fire signs about this connection. Final message about this connection, please. Okay. You've got, you deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, so fire signs, that's a direct message to you. Remember that you are lovable and you deserve love, okay? Um, you deserve the best. So do what is right for you. Um, don't base your decisions on guilt or what you think you should do. You need to do what is right for you, fire signs. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I really hope that this reading has brought you some clarity and some guidance. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really, truly helps me and helps the channel and I truly appreciate your support and it encourages me to keep doing more readings like this. Also feel free to comment in the comment section how this reading resonated for you. I really love to hear and I really truly love to connect with you. Don't forget to check out your other placements. Thank you for tuning in today. Hopefully see you in our next reading fire signs. Take care of your lovely selves. Bye.